What is up, everybody? Welcome back to AI on Crypto. Today, we're talking NFTs and NFT regulation. We've got some news breaking from Coindesk and Bloomberg that the SEC is considering probing the NFT marketplace. They are going to look at the issue about whether certain tokens should be considered securities and thus be regulated. If you're new to NFTs, there are a number of projects that do provide tokens along with their NFTs crossing some gray areas and potentially crossing that boundary of becoming a security. So this is massive news for anybody who's got into the NFT marketplace. And as I'm sure most of you know, there are some people that literally have millions of dollars in NFTs. And I'm sure you're very nervous when you see something like the SEC is considering probing the NFT marketplace. So what we're gonna have to do on this video is dive into this a little bit and try to give you my opinion on whether this is bad, whether this is horrible, or perhaps is this a good thing and just something that has been inevitable. We're gonna look into these issues. We're gonna check out this report from Coindesk here on this video right now. This is AI on Crypto. On this channel, we cover cryptocurrency prices and trends, altcoin gems and all the things on the blockchain that fill our bags to the max and we stay far away from rec city we make daily cryptocurrency content focusing on nfts play to earn blockchain gaming DeFi, and more so if you're looking for that kind of daily content please subscribe to the channel tap that bell so you don't miss future content welcome to the community and if you like the content all i ask in return is that you smash that like button so we help youtube spread this around the internet now, before I dive right into this SEC article regarding the NFT regulations, I just got to say I am not a professional financial advisor. NFTs and cryptocurrency are incredibly risky. Do your own research and contact a professional before making any major decisions. All right, guys. So nobody likes a headline like this. SEC probing the NFT market. I mean, why do they have to meddle in what is good? The NFT industry has changed the lives of artists, collectors, investors, and more. There are people who were recently low income, not a lot of capital to their estate, and now they're rich because of NFTs. Now, of course, the reverse of that is also true. There have been scams, rug pulls, and misfortune in the NFT marketplace as well, as a lot of NFT projects have not made it and perhaps never will make it, and even worse, were intended to just steal from people. This is all true about the NFT marketplace. There has been some of the most incredible stories of community, personal growth, and wealth accumulation, and then many have fallen by the wayside as well, victim to scams and poorly executed projects. So basically, it's the wild west of digital capitalism. And the question is, do we want the SEC coming and meddling? Because a lot of us, all we want is a chance. We don't want a guarantee. We understand we're doing high risk. We're going into the unknown. And yes, we might get wrecked, but we want that opportunity for 100, 200, 1000 X gain, which does happen with projects like the Board Ape Yacht Club. Crypto Punks, Doodles, World of Women, along with metaverse properties like The Sandbox, Decentraland, Gala Games, and others. All right, guys, we are moving into the future of metaverse. And I think what this is actually just a sign is that NFTs are here to stay. They're not going anywhere. They're going to get a lot bigger. And the SEC just simply cannot ignore them. Now, what this article is going to focus on in particular today is NFTs that promise some type of wealth or give some type of token in return and whether or not that crosses the boundaries of becoming a security if you're new to cryptocurrency if you're new to nfts uh, i'll give you a little bit of a nft history lesson here the very first project to offer tokens from an nft art collectible standpoint has been the cyber kongs this was a huge breakout nft project from a year or so ago and they issued a token to holders of Genesis CyberKongs called Banana. And they created a marketplace and various ways to use this Banana token within the CyberKongs ecosystem, including breeding Generation 2 Kongs. This caused that Banana token to get, to get highly valuable because 
the Genesis Kongs became incredibly valuable, over a hundred thousand dollars a piece at the floor, and the Generation Two Kongs became very valuable as well, which is what gave the banana coin its value because you needed banana in order to breed those gen 2 cyber kongs all right guys so that was the real first example of a major nft collection that began issuing a token to holders of the nft and the cyber kongs was incredibly successful and because of its success it had many many copycats some have done it in a legit way and some have crossed the line of becoming security and have been banned from places like OpenSea and other marketplaces of NFTs. All right, guys, so that's kind of like the backdrop to this, the history, a little history of NFTs that can give you some insight into what this is going to be about. And uh, now we're going to actually dive into the article. All right, guys, the Securities and Exchange Commission is investigating whether certain non-fungible tokens qualify as securities and thus should be regulated according to a report from Bloomberg, citing sources familiar with the matter. Over the last few months, SEC attorneys have sent subpoenas to NFT creators and various crypto exchanges requesting more information, according to the report. A particular focus of the probe are fractional NFTs in which a token is broken down into many units that are sold separately, according to the sources. Pause. I think that's something like a DAO where you can buy fractional portions of an NFT collection and it's almost like a bit of a business entity, a decentralized autonomous organization, a guild. Um, all right, guys, back to the article. SEC Commissioner Hester Pierce, known affectionately as Crypto Mom for her cr pro crypto views, told Coindesk TV in December that the SEC might soon be taking a closer look at NFTs. Given the breadth of the NFT landscape, certain pieces of it might fall within our jurisdiction, Pierce said. People need to be thinking about potential places where NFTs might run into the securities regulatory regime. SEC Chief Gary Gensler has previously said that he believes many crypto tokens are likely securities that should fall under the purview of the SEC. The SEC's Howey test considers something a security if it involves investors putting money into an asset with the intention of making a profit. And that's really all the Coindesk article states. We can hop on over to Bloomberg. Now, it goes into a little bit more detail. All right, guys, so the inquiry of this probe is the latest attempt by the SEC under Chair Gary Gensler to ensure the crypto market adheres to its regulations. In February, the commission and state regulators levied a record $100 million fine against BlockFi, a popular virtual currency exchange for failing to register products that pay customers high interest rates to lend out their digital token. As part of its review, the SEC is seeking information on so-called fractional NFTs, which involve breaking down the assets into units that can be easily bought and sold. All right, guys, so the SEC thus far has declined to make a public comment. Information requests from the regulator don't always lead to enforcement action. So that's basically saying just because they're looking at it doesn't mean there's anything coming down the line. But as we know, that's most often not the case and they will do something. The NFT market exploded last year, drawing attention for multi-million dollar sales and buy-in from celebrities whom some of the assets depict. In addition to serving as representations of physical collectibles, Backers of the tokens often tout their value as digital certificates of authenticity that cannot be replaced. About $44 billion worth of crypto was sent to smart contracts on the Ethereum blockchain tied to NFTs during 2021, up from $106 million the year before. That is over a 50, that is over a 400x. Are we going to have the similar growth in 2022? I'm just speaking out loud here. I think we are. Back to the article. As the market has boomed, some NFT marketplaces have taken steps to remove projects that might put them in regulators' crosshairs, such as those that offer royalties or that involve raising funds for a business. All right, guys, I'm going to link both of these articles in the description of this video. I think you can go read it in more detail if you really want to get ultra granular with what they're saying. But from here on out to the end of the video, I'm just going to give you my take, my spin, because who knows? Maybe that's why you're tuning in. 
obviously sometimes these uh, authors of these crypto articles don't know a whole lot about it. So what do I think, guys? Am I a fan of the SEC coming in? Am, am I scared or nervous? Well, number one, I'm not a fan of it, but I've accepted it. I'm not a fan of government intervention at all when it comes to the free financial systems, especially when we're dealing with groundbreaking technology and each and every one of us is putting in massive risk to our personal wealth to see if this whole thing works. We are the guinea pigs and they wanna come and uh, post-regulate us, kind of telling us what we need to do as we go, making half of us are always scared of the IRS. Nobody in the crypto space wants to fraud the IRS or I'm sure some of them do, but you know, the same percentage of regular people that work jobs and don't invest don't want to defraud the IRS. And I'd say that same percentage holds true to crypto investors, but a lot of us just don't know the rules. We haven't been educated on it. And we make so many transactions over the course of a year. It's like, oh my God, it's almost, it's, it's really hard to keep track of it. That's the boat I'm in as I prepare my 2021 taxes, but I'm gonna give it my best shot and I'm not gonna try to withhold a penny from Uncle Sam and I'll just, I'm just gonna do my best. So, but that's a separate subject, IRS. We're talking SEC as a regulatory body coming after NFT collections. So what, I'm, what I think is this is actually bullish because what this says is that NFTs are here to stay. NFTs are just getting to that point in size where the SEC can no longer ignore them. And of course they wanna make sure that everybody's paying taxes and that the government's getting their fair share they always say it's for consumer protection. The SEC is supposed to protect the consumer, but oftentimes they protect the bigger boys once they start getting lobbied. So I wouldn't be surprised if some of the larger NFT companies begin lobbying politicians to get favorable treatment over these small independent creators, which is you know just like regular business. I hope it doesn't come to that. But basically guys, I'm not concerned because the SEC was gonna do this no matter what. And all the, it kind of legitimizes NFTs because it's saying, you know what? These things are legit. People are making tokens off of it and they're making a lot of money, but we got to make sure it's all above board and they're complying with our financial regulations. So it's really uh, should have been expected by anybody who's in the industry that eventually regulatory bodies were going to look at these NFT collections simply because so much wealth has been generated. And that is always going to garner scrutiny. All right, guys, so basically, after reading this article with you, giving you my take, I just wanna let you know that ultimately, I am not concerned about this. I'm not panicking. I don't feel like they're gonna drop the hammer on me. I just think they're taking a look at certain collections and the actual collections need to um, make sure they're not promising a value of any token that they offer to the community. And at, for you retail investors, you need to make sure if you're buying into an NFT project that offers a reward token for holding the NFT, that they aren't promising the moon with that token because if so, they're probably gonna get attacked by the SEC and they'll probably lose. And that's really all I've got to say about it, especially considering I'm not a financial advisor and none of this is financial advice. All right, guys, do your own research. Check this stuff out. Stay vigilant. Stay abreast of the upcoming regulation. It will help you with your exit strategy so you can maximize the profits from your cryptocurrency and NFT investments. All right, guys, I hope you liked the video. If you haven't done it already, please subscribe. Tap the bell for notifications. We'll catch you on the next one.